Hi everyone, I'm Kiki. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I have a video about my Hermes Arundel pendant to share with all of you. So if you're interested in all of that, please keep watching. Let's get started. Ding ding. All right, so first things first, this is my Ferrandol pendant that I got from Hermes, I think around November, December, January, around that three month period around the new year. And it was the first item I actually bought from my new SA. Um, it is an item that I would say isn't rare, but is often sold out due to the relatively um, entry price point relative to the fine jewelry at Hermes. And I wanted to share with you guys one con and three pros I felt about this necklace, um, how much I've been using it, and if I like it or not, etc., etc. So here we go. Do -de -do -de -do 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 -de -do -de -do -do Welcome to Kiki's channel. Do -do. Ding ding. All right, let's start off straight off with the con. The number one con, which I actually noticed when i was trying the not trying when i was looking at the necklace in the store my sa put the necklace on me to try on so i think maybe unless you always have someone to put your necklaces on it would be a good thing sometimes to, i think put the necklace on yourself in the store just so that you have an idea of how easy it's going to be in the future and this is important because the number one con is how terrible this clasp is um, so as you guys know, I really love the Van Cleef clasp. It's a lobster clasp that's pretty substantial, even if you don't choose to have it upgrade, not upgraded, um, changed out to the larger clasp. But this one on uh, the Ferrandol pendant in particular is the most annoying. It's kind of like the circle clasp. I'm going to insert a photo uh, where it's hinged and it digs into your kind of your nail bed between your nail and your nail bed. At least it does to me. Uh, when you're trying to adjust it and it's kind of tiny so it's not the easiest so you can't it's a little bit harder to simply feel and put on I know you can reverse it and look in a mirror and do it from the front but I don't always like to do that sometimes I like to just do it quickly so I find the class to be super super inconvenient it takes a little bit longer it's a little fiddly cumbersome um and yeah and at this price point I feel like they could have just done a lobster class they do really beautiful um, kind of turn lock looking motif uh, lobster clasps but even honestly a regular lobster clasp I think would have been beautiful would have been just more practical um, and so that is the con and the only con honestly that I feel about this necklace let's move on to the pros so I have three pros for this necklace number one is the material so as you can see, this is solid gold and it's solid 18 karat gold. I believe that Hermes is moving away from using yellow gold in most of their fine jewelry lines. So this is going to be, I guess, the trend or the way going forward. This is in rose gold, which I really love. It's a very subtle rose gold, so it's not too, too pinkish. Um, and I really like it. The pro about this material obviously is it is not going to shrink. It's not going to um, rust. It's not going to change color and tarnish. And you can very importantly <laughs> wear it to shower. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. Wear it to shower without taking it off. And also for when you're putting on your lotions or your perfumes, you don't have to worry about it um, possibly corroding the material because it's solid gold. So what's not to like about solid gold? I give that like a 10 out of 10. Um, so that's a pro number one. Now, Pro number two is the fact that it is adjustable. And I know, I know a lot of necklaces are adjustable, but I still think that is a really important thing to have. The fact that it has adjustable spots on the back to um, kind of place the necklace at different lengths along your chest, I guess, or your, your neckline, I think is always really useful. Right now I'm wearing it at the longest setting, which is usually how I wear it but say if I'm wearing something um, a little higher neckline or not fully covered like this I could always wear it at a tighter setting and give it a bit of a different look which I always think is great flexibility and kind of uh, options are always a great thing to me so that is number two in my pros and number three of my pros is the fact that 
it is so beautiful. I know this one is a really subjective one, but by beautiful, I also mean um, it's very versatile. So because it is a really simple motif, I feel like it goes really well with everything. It can go well with dresses um, for more uh, dressed up date night kind of occasions, but it can also go really well with a t-shirt and jeans and not look too out of place and not be um, not look like it's clashing with your outfit or fighting with it. It really just adds, I think, to most outfits, a really kind of um, subtle element. And if you guys are wondering uh, why I bought this necklace, I bought it for several reasons. I had always liked this design, but it checked off a lot of my boxes in terms of material, price point. And at that time, I had been incredibly obsessed with this kind of like chain or like book, not book, ship anchor kind of motif. I've, a, I've mentioned this in a few other videos, um, but Coach as well as Dior, they both do something kind of similar to this motif. If you guys wanted alternatives at different price points, Coach being the contemporary, Dior being another uh, luxury option. But I digress, this kind of simple, organic-ish, but geometric-ish shape just really, really spoke to me. And I just really wanted to have it. And that's honestly why I bought it. And I have absolutely no regrets. I highly recommend it. I think uh, even after the price increase, it is still a relatively good buy in terms of Hermes fine jewelry and in terms of fine jewelry in general. I think that it is really easy to pair and it goes well with everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video and me sharing my one pro, three cons with you guys. Let me know if you guys have this necklace or are thinking of adding it to your collection, why or why not. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to be notified whenever I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Janet. Ding, ding. Do 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 do. Thanks for watching. Come again. Bye bye.